a break, we have a new projection. NBC News projects that Hillary Clinton will win in the state of Virginia. 13 electoral votes. Here's how it's uh, shaking out right now. Clinton had it 48, 47 percent over Trump. What does this mean to the electoral map? Let's take you down to the ice and see where things stand. Trump with 168, Clinton with 122 as our map begins to fill in. But there are some states in gray right there who are going to create a lot of upset stomachs and drama in both campaigns tonight. Let's go to Chuck Todd right now, who is with some of our pollsters to get a little read on what we're seeing here and how we got here. I'm with Bill McInturf, Republican, Fred Yang, Democrat. These guys are the brains behind the is the other story here. Not only in the, uh, not only have we seen in the excerpts blowing through the roof the Trump voter, but as Bill, as Bill noted, um, your college-educated white voter, she's doing well, but she's not doing as well as they expected. He doesn't so cancel out what he got. And, and listen, this was always out of reach for him when he was fighting with his own party. That's why it was viewed as so calamitous when he went to war with Republicans. The intra-party fighting was viewed as disastrous. But that hasn't really been the case for the last few weeks. The closing weeks of this campaign have had Republicans, even Paul Ryan, who we were talking about in the last hour, singing off of the same and song sheet about Clinton don't corruption. Don't forget health care either. Exactly, they, they, huge story. You know, when, when those premiums went up, they obviously their research said go after it because he hammered, hammered, hammered health care. With an assist from Bill Clinton, who said, you know, we all know this, 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 uh, you know, he said something derogatory about Obamacare, which gave them, them fuel, gave them ammunition. And what was different about the post Comey period was that he had ammunition and he used it. He'd been a very inefficient candidate until that moment. When the Comey letter hit, he became a very efficient, a very disciplined, almost a traditional kind of candidate. And this is what it yielded. Kevin Tibbles is in Michigan right now. Kevin, what's the mood where you are and what are people talking about? Well, Lester, I think it's one of amazement and perhaps a little bit of surprise thrown in because people here last night were attending one of the final uh, Donald Trump rallies here. At any point, did you ever think that Michigan, it might actually come down to Michigan? Never. I never thought it would happen. And, and what about you? I mean, Michigan did not seem to be in play. This was supposed to be a Democrat state. We were ready to be in play. We were excited for something new and different. And well, Donald Trump is that person. Well, what, is he, what does Donald Trump represent to you that is different? He tells it like it is. He isn't politically correct, which is sometimes good and sometimes not. But you know where he's coming well, from. Well, I have to ask you, as a woman, why did you vote for him? Because he tells it like it is. I have a lot of friends who tell it like it is, and you can trust them. You have to sort through some of the weeds, but when you get to the gist of it, you know he's speaking strong words and that he's going to live up to those words. This was a rather subdued crowd up until about 45 minutes ago, Lester, and that's when the results started to come in. I think people here got excited when they saw what was going on in Ohio, which of course I believe is still too close to call. And then it started coming in here. People started talking about the number of people that voted in the Detroit area, which seemed to be low. And then here, which has been a Republican sort of island in this, in this state of Michigan. But uh, after this evening, I mean, who knows? It's all up in the air. Who knows what's going to happen here, Lester? All right, Kevin Tillis, thanks very much. And I know in the crush of that room and the noise you may have missed, but Ohio has been called as a, a Donald Trump state. Uh, Donald Trump wins Ohio. And let's, let's, let's drill down on Ohio because it may be uh, Hallie Jackson because it may tell us a little bit what else is going on in the Midwest. And here's what we're seeing in Ohio, which could be reflected in Michigan, which is another one of these upper Midwest states and obviously the one we're talking about tonight. Look at this. It wasn't immigration. It wasn't foreign policy or terrorism that ended up giving Trump the win. According to our exit polls, it was the economy. 54% of Ohio voters said that was the most important issue to them. And of the voters who said that the economy was the most important issue, and actually of Ohio voters overall, more of them thought that Donald Trump would better handle the economy. His message on trade seemed to resonate. This is something that we heard from Trump in the closing months of his campaign in the last few weeks as he made trip after trip after trip to Ohio, pressing this message. The other thing, driving his victory in Ohio, he is the projected winner there. Take a look at this next board here. It's what we've been talking about all night. 
white voters without a college degree. Look at the margin for the Republican candidate. In 2012, it was 56 percent. Donald Trump outperformed Mitt Romney this year. And look at what happened with the Democratic candidate. In 2012, Barack Obama got 42 percent. Hillary Clinton underperformed him by five points. So that is something that we're going to look to see if that is matched in Michigan, given the similarities between the populations there, Lester. Hallie Jackson, thanks. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to continue to keep a close eye on those two close to call states, and there are many of them. And another round of poll closings coming up, including a big one, California. Stay with us. And Washington. And of course, we'll have the characterizations at the top Decision of the hour. Night we'll go to Kristen America. Welker now. He's She's learned some new, new information Echo. at Clinton headquarters here in New York. Kristen? Lester, good evening. The Clinton campaign projecting confidence in this nail-biter of a race. I just heard from one top official who says they still have a path to 270, and they say they are on that path. Why? Because they have won Colorado and Virginia. But the path includes holding Wisconsin and Michigan. They would then have to win Pennsylvania and either win Nevada or New Hampshire. So those are the states that they are watching at this hour. Now, they point out that in terms of Wisconsin, Madison is still out. That's obviously a heavy college area, so you're going to get younger voters. They think they can clinch that area. And then Michigan, Detroit is out. A lot of African-American voters. Of course, President Obama has been there trying to energize his base and that part of the Obama coalition. I can tell you that there are jitters here among top Clinton supporters who are gathered at the Javits Center, some of them acknowledging to me they are quite concerned about the fact that this race is a whole lot closer than they were anticipating. But again, at this hour, the Clinton campaign stressing that they still have a path to 270 and they think they can get there. Lester. Listening to that path, Kristen, we're sending uh, Chuck with his pad and up to the map here. Well, look, the path is the path is one state right now. I mean, yes, we may need to worry. We'll worry about Nevada and, and, and New Hampshire when we get there. And Wisconsin, um, she noted. In Wisconsin, there's no doubt. But let's get to know Michigan a little bit here. Um, we still got, look, more than 50 percent of the vote out. But ultimately, let's take a look at what Wayne County is going to do. So right now, Clinton is winning it. Um, almost by 30 points. Let's go back to 2012 just to get an idea of the total vote that you'll see out of it. So we have 220,000 votes in there so far. If you go to Wayne in 2012, as you see President Obama won it by almost 50 points. He got nearly, oh, 370,000 net out of there. So my point is that's what you're going to be wanting to watch tonight. Number one is going to be how much, oh, it looks like, there we go, how much does she get out of here? Still very little of Detroit in, but she needs to net, doesn't need to net as much as, as Obama got out of there, but she needs to net probably 275 to 300,000 votes just out of Wayne County. So we got a ways to go, but that's just a simple way of just watching Michigan right now. Why are you at the map? Can you show us where Florida is? We haven't been Yeah, we haven't, we haven't checked Florida in on Florida in a, a little bit. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to it here. Um, I didn't. I'm Sorry to yell for now. That's okay. I didn't. I, I I could have navigated simpler. Look, vote keeps coming in. She hasn't really narrowed the gap very well. It's just not there. Unless there's magic boxes of of ballot boxes somewhere that we don't know about. I can keep telling you there is. You know, the remaining vote is basically here in Palm Beach, Broward. Uh, Miami, and I think there's one precinct in Monroe that's left. But by the way, I was talking to a, a, a Florida, uh, a Florida expert of mine, about how how has Trump done this, and it's essentially these Tampa ex urban counties, okay, both north and south, in the Tampa market. He just blew through every single vote total estimate that Democrats had, and frankly, even Republicans just blew through. Look, she did her job in uh, Hillsborough. Normally, how Hillsborough goes, single most, you could say it was the most important swing county in the country over the last 16 years. But this is not enough. She's going to win Hillsborough and lose the state. That doesn't happen very often, but that's the story of what's happened in rural America. By All the right. way, everybody talking about how Trump didn't have much of a get out the vote operation. <laughs> but didn't need it. Apparently not, that he relied so heavily on the Republican Party and there was already grousing um, from some inside states about there not being sufficient get out the vote. Well, the vote got out. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break. Lots more ahead on this decision night in America.